Hey, what is up guys? This is Turtwig TV and I'm coming at you with the third part of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now, in the last episode we managed to make our way to Petalburg City and, well yeah, we're gonna go quickly grab some Pokeballs before we before I forget so I, so I don't end up going out into Route 104 and trying to catch something without any Pokeballs because that won't go down well, seeing after we, after we lost our last Pokemon. So we're just gonna run out here and we're gonna go into the gym here and speak to our dad. Who's just going to speak to us about everything. And then Wally's going to come in. And Wally's going to catch his first Pokemon. Right here with us. Oh, okay. Whoops. And, oh yeah. So, go with Wally now to catch his first ever Pokemon. So, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then he just turns around and he gets jumped. And he gets jumped by a Snorlax. Okay. And he has a hit on top. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? And Snorlax uses Mirror Move. I would laugh so much if this snort action or explosion. That would just completely screw up this like cutscene here. So hit him on top, that's enough, come back, and Wally's gonna throw a Pokeball at it. I know he's gonna catch it, but it would be quite amusing if he didn't catch it with his only Pokeball. And some raging Snorlax comes after him. I would find that so amusing. So we're gonna head back to the gym and oh yeah. Da -da 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 -da. And by Turtwig now. He's just telling me how about I need to go to Rustboro City and battle the gym leader there, so. That's our next task. We're gonna move our way on to the next city now. So let's have a little oh god, speed up button to try not to use it. And here comes Scott. I think his name's Scott, if I remember correctly. Well if it's not, I'm gonna be so embarrassed now, but I'm pretty sure you learn later in the next game that his name's Scott after he insults you here for saying that if you're if you you're not a Pokemon trainer because you're not dirty enough, either you're not very good. And we get a Beldum! Oh, that is a good Pokemon for the first out. I'm hoping it has a half decent move. Instead of the usual... Oh, it has overheat! Oh no! Oh, I thought Alpha Team was going down then. I really thought Alpha Team was going down to that overheat. So let's just start chucking Pokeballs at this Beldum. And he goes for another overheat. His special attack is going to keep getting lowered here, but it's okay. I'm going to... I'm gonna... Oh, i got to take... i got to hit it with another attack. But I don't want to take it out. That's the problem. Oh, I'm going to switch out to Kiss Kiss here and hit it with a Shadow Punch and hopefully not... Shadow Punch is super... It's not, it's pure steel, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's still pure, pure steel. I'm hoping not to take this out here. Please don't take it out. Oh, okay, thank God. Put it down to even lower health. Let's catch it in a Premier Ball. I think, I love the way the Premier Balls look. They're just all white. And Beldum's use. oh no, he's using Struggle. No, 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 come on. No, no, he's gonna hit, he's gonna kill himself with recoil. Oh God, no, don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself, Beldum. Come on, stay alive. Oh, hi, no, he's gonna die! No, oh god, there goes my Pokemon for this route. And Kiss Kiss is nearly dead as well. So, we not, we're not gonna catch anything on Route 104 then. Great. Oh, I really wanted that Beldum as well. And I'm running low on Pokeballs now. God's sake. Oh, I hate, sometimes I hate the way the moves are randomised. Actually, no, I'd rather have Overheat than Takedown, actually. <laughs> it killed itself quicker if he had Takedown, but. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some more Pokeballs now, I'm only, I've only got enough for seven, so I'm going to buy seven of them. And let's move on across here and let's battle these trainers down on the beach. So the first trainer is over here, and let's see if I can intercept where he's running. There we go. And leaving footprints in the sand is fun. Old boy Billy would like to battle. He sent out Cyndaquil, I'm going to send out Alpha Team. I am going to switch out here. I do not like that matchup. Even though the rooms are randomised, I still do not like that rap matchup. And so on to Titos, and he's going to hit it with that um, water pulse and take it out after two shots. And Alpha Team's going to get 34, and Titos is going to get 34. I'm going to keep Titos in here just to get some XP and hopefully level him up up to level 9. And he takes it straight down with that dragon. <coughs> Excuse me, with that dragon punch there. Oh, my voice just completely went for a second. <laughs> so, yeah, let's move on up here. These are trainers, aren't they? Yep, he's a trainer. He's usually got a magic carp, if I remember correctly, and he has a Nido King. No Nido King, Nido Queen. So we're gonna go back out into Titos and use another water pulse on this thing here. And it's got the sink. I'm hoping this sink I hope it doesn't put him Oh he misses the second sink, which is good, and Tios takes him down. Alpha Teen is leveling up so quickly. I'm gonna bring Kiss Kiss out to the front just to get Oh, she's probably picked up an Oh, still not picked up an item with that pickup ability. Kiss Kiss, you're disappointing the team here, come on! So I'm going to continue to move up, I'm going to take these orange berries here. Uh, they're always good to have in the bag, just in case. And I'm going to battle this trainer here now. 
So she overdressed Cindy is running a shelter. So I'm gonna keep keep Kiss Kiss out here and go for the Shadow Punch. Hopefully do a decent amount of damage. And Shelda is running speed boost. I gotta get myself one of them. Oh god. Speed boost cloister would be insane with that shell smash. Well if it gets I don't even know if it gets a shell smash in this gen. I don't even Oh we endured the hit, come on. Why was she Did a max did she just use a max revive? Wait, what? I gotta go back over the recording. Did they just really use a max revive there? I'm pretty sure she did. Oh, we're in Petalburg Wood now, Woods now. Let's catch our first Pokemon in this route. And we're gonna get... Oh, we're gonna get Sandslash. Oh, that is awesome. Ah, oh, Sandslash with Intimidate. And Barrier. That is gonna be quite helpful. It's running Brick Breakers. Oh, this Sandslash has gotta join my team. I'm liking the look of this Sandslash for our team here. And I get the crit there. I don't wanna risk getting another crit, so I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball out straight away here. I'm sorry if I'm using the speed. And it's running Psychic. Oh, this Sand Slash has got to be mine. I've got to get this Sand Slash here. I'm sorry if I'm using the speed up button too much, guys, but it's just a habit I have. So, we've got the Mouse Pokemon Sand Slash, and I'm going to pause the video here, and I'll be right back after I check comments on the first video to see who I'm going to name this first Pokemon after. Um, I'll be right back in a second, guys. Hey, what's up guys, I'm back again, and I have found someone on the first video who commented, and I'm going to name this person after them, well, this Pokemon after them now, so don't forget to comment on this video, with the chance of me naming a Pokemon after you in the next video, and leaving your uh, YouTube description in the, dis well, YouTube channel in the description, so I'm going to name this one after Cameron, uh, Cameron, and bit, and he, he, his comment was, he was saying about how Water Absorbed Ninetales was OP last episode, which it truly is. So I'm hoping I don't come up against many more of them, but let me check if I spell that right. Yep, I have. So, yeah, yeah. If you want, you, if you want a Pokemon named after you, remember to keep put a comment in the description, well, in the comment section down below with a chance of being named after a Pokemon. So this... This Cameron is running, uh, well, this Sandslash has got a calm nature, and it's running Barrier, Brick Break, and Psychic. With the Intimidate as well, and the item it has, I'm just going to take it now. TM50, oh god, I forgot I randomised the items as well. So, well, the TMs as well, so what could this be? So, I've got Disable, I think that's not what it usually is, but I have TM50, which is Disable. So I'm going to have a quick run back to the PC Centre here and heal up before, oh, I'm going to grab the item down there, actually, on my way back before I head through Petalburg Woods here and up towards Rustboro City. So I'm going to grab this item here, which is an Amulet Coin. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to get some money here. So who's my probably most probable lead from now? I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give this to um, Alpha Team for the minute, because he's my most probable lead and he'll make an appearance in quite a few battles. So... I'm going to head into the Pokemon Center here and we're going to... Um, Restore ourselves up, and oh yeah. Um, question of the day today, guys, is going to be: What is your favourite Pokémon move? Well, because I've got Outrage. I love Outrage just because of the nostalgia reasons. So, what is your favourite Pokémon move? I also have. A ma I also love the move Aqua Jet because it just tears It just tears shit up online. Get the get the belly drum up with a zoom reel and just sweep things with Aqua Jet. So we're gonna put Cameron up to the front for this. Um, First battle here against his first trainer, and let's see who he's got. So, little burger like has got a flygon. Okay, I am not staying in here. I'm gonna switch out to Alpha Team because he's gonna hit it with that Aura Beam, super effective. Hopefully, get some decent. Oh, I outspent. I clicked the wrong thing, but I still got the hit with the one hit KO, which is quite good. So, he's got a Poliwhirl. Have I got anything super effective on that? Um, not really, but I'm just gonna go out to Titos just to get the experience. Just gonna hit it with Dragon Claw and take it out with one hit. Leveling up to level 10 there and Volby. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Cameron here just to give him a little bit of XP. Hit it with that Psychic. Super effective. Oh, maybe not super effective. Color change. When did uh, Volby color change, man? Ah, oh, yes, I got the fight Brick Break and then Psychic gets super effective, taking it down. Cameron leveling up to level 6 here, and he's got a Feebas. Ooh, okay. I'm going to stay in here, I'm just going to go for another Psychic, just so I can get the XP. Takes that Feebas out there, and we've, well, we'd beat Lil Bugger like. 
So we're going to move on in throughout this forest here, and there's a Vulpix here. I'm just going to, well, I'm just going to take it out as a sidekick, just so I can get the XP. Oh, Grass Whistle, oh, that's quite scary, don't, oh, it's got a Jump Kick as well. Vulpix are looking quite, Nine Tails and Vulpix are looking quite good, actually. Oh, Moo Moo Milk, oh, yes, I've got that just in case I need to use it later, well, in a bit. And a Hitmonchan, oh, I would have loved one of them. I would have actually loved a Hitmonchan. And so I just take it out with that um, thing. And here comes the Team Aqua member. As we speak to one of the Devon people from Devon. And here comes the Aqua men member. So he's kind of intimidating this Devon researcher here. And we are going to battle this guy here now. So I wonder what he's going to be running. He is running. He's a grunt, and he has the Oxys. Why doesn't he just take over the whole corp corporation, man? Why not? Oh, god damn it. Oh, this, this, this could knock me out here. Oh, this could knock at least one of my Pokemon out. It's level... Oh, it knows the E-Speed! Oh, he's got, he's got that priority minimize E-Speed. Oh, god, that's going to be annoying. And he's increased in his defense as well. Oh, please don't miss. Please don't miss. Oh, thank god I hit that. Oh, but I'm gonna have to battle him again, aren't I? Oh, when he takes, oh, when he takes that guy's Wingle, I'm gonna have to battle him again. No, 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 no. I do not. I am not looking forward to that. So I get this great ball off this guy here, and so I'm gonna start rushing through the rest of Petalburg, Petalburg Woods here, up towards this other trainer here, and let's battle him now. Oh, I keep on knocking my mic this episode. I'm sorry, guys. And he sends out a Meditite. I'm gonna stay in here with uh, um, Karen and just hit it with a Brick Break. Doesn't do anything. Try a Sidekick. Neutral damage. Just hit it hard. And Cameron is pulling through here. It's gonna be an important member. Reggie Rock. Oh, um, what is with these train? What is with these trainers with these legendaries lately? Come on. And the Water Pulse should do a decent amount of damage. And it gets to Confusion. But Reggie Rock is running Color Change. That that is quite good actually. I gotta catch myself. I gotta. I gotta get myself a Reggie Rock later on in the game. I gotta go catch one. I gotta go do the thing to catch one. Oh, I'm getting one of them color change Reggie Rocks so. though. And here's another Vulpix. I wish I could have caught one of these. I'm just gonna run away from this battle here and see what we get here. Um, Lambs. Wait, is that the one? I'm trying to work out which berry that is. How do I know? Oops, critical hits. No, it's not that good actually. <laughs> I thought it was really good, but ah, oh, Scythe as well. I really wish Turt Turtwig was in this gen, so I could have possibly caught one of him, but he's not, so... I really... That's, no, that's not shiny. Oh, I'm just going to run away from this here. Oh, I'm coming towards the end of this. Uh, is this route... Is this going to count as a new route, or not? No, I'm not going to count this as a new route. It's still part of Route 104. So, I'm going to go in here and get, grab the Wilma, 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 Wilma Pale. I think it's off her. Yeah, the Wilma Pale. So, get that to get Sudowoodoo towards the end of the game. And let's battle this rich guy here. What's he going to be named? Bad Air Woodson. And he's got an Omnistar. Cameron's just going to hit it straight with a Psychic now. And hopefully do a decent. Ah, oh, what is with everything with colour change today? Oh, I'm going to go out to Alpha Teen because he can actually do some damage. So I'm just going to hit it with that Aura Beam. And then hit it with that. Um, Ah, oh, just go for another aura beam, take it out. It's quite good. And Alpha Team levels up to level 12. I'm looking perfectly fine for this upcoming gym here. But and there's another trainer up here now. She's wondering if she should or if she shouldn't, but she does. And she has a Weedle. Alright. Oh, I've just noticed how low Cameron is. I'm going to send out Kiss Kiss just to get a little bit of um, uh, experience on him. Uh, Weedle's got Needle Arm. Oh, Weedle. Beedrill would be insane with Needle Arm. Oh god, he's getting the flinch hacks. Oh, come on. Oh, flinch and paralysis. Come on, you can take it out. Oh, I'm not risking this. I'm not risking this. losing a team member already. I'm going to go straight on to Alpha Team and just hit it with that hair cutter here and take it out. Now, Kiss Kiss grew to level 7. Medicham, I'm just going to stay and hit it with that um, air cutter again. Super, is that super effective? Yeah, it's definitely super effective. And Alpha Teen is putting in work. So I'm going to switch. Um, I'm going to have Alpha Teen and uh, T Toss up front. 
as I go up here for this double battle now. And the twins want to battle, so let's just duplicate. What is with these legendaries? Suicune, really? Really? Oh, I'm going to horn drill the Suicune. I'm just going to try and horn drill the Suicune and take it out. Gotta go to the protect. Alpha, Alpha Teen hits the horn drill and takes out the Suicune there. And just going to spam. Oh, he goes for the double protect. Alpha Teen has been hitting these horn drills today. He's been helping, actually. Because I don't think I could have dealt with that Suicune very well if he didn't hit that. So I'm going to run into Rustboro Rust City. And this is where I'm going to end this second, third episode of Pokemon Emerald Let's Play Randomizer Nuzlocke. Don't forget to answer the question. Um, the, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I can't get my words out today. The comment question. Well, the comment question. Question of the day in the description. Well, in the comments below. And don't, and don't forget to comment so I can actually um, name a Pokemon after you in the next episode. So I've hoped you enjoyed. And turtwig out, guys.